it's officially winter. And when it's winter and it's cold, we don't like to ride. Oh, so it's perfect time to take care of the Lowrider ST to install a really cool light. Uh, I did a, a video a while ago where I installed fairing vent signal lights, turn signals, and the whole bike came out really, really lit up, really cool. And then one of the got, one of the comments out there was like, "Take a look at this and this uh, light." I went ahead and looked at Custom Dynamics website, and they had a new light that, that I didn't I didn't uh, see before. And I kind of liked it very much. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be replacing this traditional looking signal light with something kind of newish, very sleek. Let me show you. I'll pull the bike out and I'll show you. Put it, the bike in the sun because it's, it's rather cold. Pull the bike out and um, it's a very, cold, a very cool looking turn signal light. I'll back up like this. I know you guys can hear me with the microphone that is connected to the camera. So first of all, I get some good footage and second, it's much warmer, much warmer like that. Let me flip the camera over right like that. Now you can see me. There you go. Lit enough? Yeah. Okay. What I was saying is, so these traditional lights, turn signals, I mean, I'm going to be swapping them was something pretty cool. Very uh, old school, these, these lights, right? Very Harley, but I have something really cool and new. Let me show you, I'm not sure what they're called. It is the Lowrider ST front turn signal. They have it in gloss black, that's what I got. Dark bronze, oh, that's pretty cool. Could fit my uh, my rims. Show you what the features it says. A bright white DRL daylight running lights, DOT compliant, amber turn signals, compact size, aggressively styled, which I agree. Metal housing, stainless fasteners, a gloss black or dark bronze finish, smoked lens, plug and play installation, sold as a pair, lifetime warranty. 2022-2024 Harley Davidson Softail Lowrider ST, and Lowrider El Diablo as well. I'll put a link below. This is the box. I have a link below where you can actually pick these up from MotorcycleDepot.com. I'll show you what it's like. It's like, it's very snug, very modern looking. But this is, this is, it's simple again, like everything with, uh, with Custom Dynamics. It's plug and play. It's gonna be nice and sleek. Huh? Nice and flush and very cool. I'm excited. Let's uh, let's take the fairing off. As always, let me get my my work environment over here already. Torx is two twenty T twenty five twenty sevens for the fairing removal. Oh yeah, obviously something so I don't something for the fender so I don't uh, mess it up while I'm at it. Just again, it, you know, as usual, as always, if this is the first video you've ever seen of mine, is taking uh, the the windscreen off with these six bolts over here. The Torx is Torx. T27s, I think, and then there's bolts around the fairing. We need to take the outer fairing off so we get access to the lights over here. That's gonna be, let's start with the windscreen. I always keep the, one of the bottom ones uh, for last because that, that's what bears the weight. It's kind of winter. Nobody likes to ride in the winter. Like half of the country at least have their bikes stored for the winter. It's too cold to ride. We try to ride over here up in the Northeast year round with our heated gear. Still, if it's not a perfect day, kind of doesn't give a lot of inspiration to go out and ride. Today's actually a nice day. It, there's a lot of, the sun is out, but I'm not really in the mood. So I'm just waiting to do this little install. And it's uh, actually, it's pretty cool. I think it's, it's a modern look to the bike, you know, cause this bike has got somewhat uh, modern lines to it. I mean, it's Harley with the old school look, but it's got even the fairing, uh, it's a modern twist to the old fairing, the FXR. What was it? It's a redesign. And I think this uh, turn signal is going to be really, I give it a little modern touch to the front. It should be really cool. You obviously are going to tell me later on how you like it. Okay, fairing is off. I mean, the windscreen is off. That was easy. Now we'll go for the uh, fairing bolts right here. Oh, like as if you've never seen all the bolts over here. One over here, one over here, and one here on the bottom with that little winglet, and the same thing on the other side. So it's like one, 
two and three. One, these are off. Once these are off, the whole front fairing uh, comes off. Now, if you're asking yourself, the standard, uh, probably you know, because you have an ST. This is not, a, this is not uh, the standard uh, interfering. This is a uh, Advan Black color matched interfering that I installed at the time. Well, I decided to let you watch this after all. Okay, all bolts are off. Right here, there's a little plug in the back. That plug is the plug that uh, connects the Shark Demon headlight that I have. There you go. That's the clip right there, right here. Okay, now you see this, this turn signal right here. There's a bolt right here in the back. Once we release that, uh, we'll be able to take the whole thing off of here, then click this one out, just unplug this one and install the new turn signal. Okay, I found it's actually a T40, a Torx 40 uh, bolt underneath. So it's right there. Right this guy over here. Right that guy over here. Yeah, so access was a little bit of a hassle, but I got it out. And now, let me disconnect the plug right over here. There you go. Right there. This goes out. <laughs> this goes out. Okay, simple. Okay, this is the right size. This is the left or right. Let me just figure out which orientation is the correct one. Okay, yeah, I didn't see before, but there's actually uh, a little L over here where you know it's going to be on the left side. And over here, there's a right and R. Right there, R. It's going to be on the right side. So I was looking where in the instructions where I can find it, but it was there the whole time. So anyway, this goes here. And then it's going to be clicking into here. And this is going to be simply, oh, what, what head is this? It's, a, it's an Allen right here. Actually, that's very cool. It looks very nice. Okay, let's continue. The Allen wrench over here. Tedious. Not a lot of access over here, but whatever. There we go. Oh. Now let's connect the plug right to the proper place and, and test it out. A ah, nice running light. There you go. How about signal light? Oh, very nice. Okay. Let me do the other side as well. The thing is there's not the little bit tight axis over here, but it's actually very simple. It just comes out. Unplug, connect over here, and the whole thing is out. Simple as that. Hold this for future <laughs> wants it. The right side, same thing. It's got a nice finish to it. You see, it's, it comes either, I think, in black, glossy black, and also chrome. One bolt, an Allen from the other side. Put it through. That's it. the other side there you go okay now it's closed let's close up the uh, the fairing that was easy Put them all in, 
but don't tighten them completely. The, the, the final tightening I do, obviously, once everything is fitted in and everything is in place, that's when I do the final, final tightening. Let's go towards, let's go do the windscreen. Oh, we can actually get rid of this. And then I'll go around all, all of them. Let's go through them all now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the windscreens. One, two, three, four, five, and last one, six. Okay, let me show you what it looks like. This is what it looked like before. So what we had there before this is what we have now. What do you guys think? Modern, not right, right, looks great, doesn't look great, let me know. Let me just turn the lights on so you can actually see the looks. cool I think what do you guys say huh what do you guys say let me know down below it's actually you saw how easy and fast it was extremely easy hey guys sorry for the interruption this will be really fast everything you see on this video I have links down by description you can pick things up at MotorcycleDepot.com close to 200,000 different items. Back to the video. I do want to thank uh, Custom Dynamics. They did send me these for free. That's part of the perks of being an influencer. Influencer, whatever. Stuff for free and putting videos out. Hope you enjoyed this winter, winter upgrade. 